I thought that was going to be my last question, but you did bring up R. Kelly, and I got to ask this. Precedence does matter. And when we see, even though that was a different situation, different case, when we see what ultimately happened with him, he's going to be serving about 30 years in jail. He's, he's in the midst of serving about 30 years in jail. How much, if at all, does that play a role in the likelihood of a mountain of, uh, of legal matters just coming down on him like a tsunami in light of what happened with R. Kelly? It plays a big role, I think, in terms of how people are responding, those billionaires, those buddies of his that used to party with him. I think folks are making sure they keep their distance because of what did happen with R. Kelly. Folks used to come to the defense. There were a lot of people who came to the defense of R. Kelly. The game and then saw Jay-Z. They saw Jay-Z. Saw Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all those records together. They both, Dalia. They shared so much in common. You do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. The legendary duo Diddy and Jay-Z, who have dominated the hip hop scene for years, seem to be parting ways. Meanwhile, our Kelly, caught in controversy, is speaking out from prison. First, there's talk that Diddy and Jay-Z are ending their partnership. Fans are shocked and wondering if it's due to creative differences, personal issues, or something else. On the other side, R. Kelly is making headlines from his prison cell. Despite facing serious charges, he's now making some bold claims. R. Kelly, convicted of multiple crimes, believes Jay-Z once wanted him dead and even played a role in his imprisonment. He alleges there was misconduct during his trial and that a documentary that influenced it was funded by someone named Ronnie Bell. Kelly's former cellmate told Hip Hop News and censored that while Kelly didn't have concrete evidence, he was convinced Jay-Z had put a hit out on him. Kelly and Jay-Z had worked together in the early 2000s on two albums and a tour that ended badly. The tension peaked at Madison Square Garden when Kelly left the stage, claiming men were pointing guns at him and was then pepper sprayed by Jay-Z's friend, Tyron Smith. Kelly was kicked off the tour and sued Jay-Z for $75 million, ending their relationship. Bo claimed Kelly believed Jay-Z felt threatened by him because Kelly was more popular at the time. He also mentioned receiving death threats before the Madison Square Garden show, which he thought came from Jay-Z. Kelly felt Jay-Z was trying to have him killed. R&B star R. Kelly has been sentenced to 30 years in prison for using his fame to abuse young fans, including those barely of legal age. A troubling aspect of his history is his illegal marriage to the late singer Aaliyah when she was just 15. In 1994, Kelly arranged a fake marriage, fearing Aaliyah was pregnant. Witnesses described how they wore matching tracksuits and used a fake ID stating Aaliyah was 18, while Kelly was 27. While Jay-Z enjoys life with Beyonce and their daughter Blue Ivy, Kelly's legal issues are severely impacting his finances. Court documents reveal that prosecutors in Brooklyn are trying to collect over $500,000 owed to Kelly's victims from his record labels. As of June 1, 2023, this amount was $542,189.73 and continues to grow. Allegations emerge that are Kelly was running an inappropriate cult with hundreds of girls trapped. Eventually, victims began to come forward, breaking their non-disclosure agreements to reveal the truth. The Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly, which was six hours long, provided a detailed look at the accusations against him. Two weeks after the documentary aired, Kelly was dropped by his record company, and his legal troubles escalated. On June 20th, it was announced that he would spend 30 years in prison, a sentence many felt was too lenient. Before his sentencing, several women who were victims of R. Kelly spoke out, sharing how he had ruined many lives. However, one of the most mysterious stories is that of Aaliyah. Born in January 1979, Aaliyah Houghton signed a record deal with her uncle in Detroit at just 12 years old. Billboard magazine praised her for revolutionizing R&B with her blend of pop, soul, and hip hop. Her song, Try Again, won the Best Female Video Award at the 2000 MTV Video Music Awards, beating out Britney Spears' Oops, I Did It Again and Christina Aguilera's What a Girl Wants, marking her rise to fame. Aaliyah also won three American Music Awards, two MTV VMAs, and received five Grammy nominations 
establishing herself as a major R&B star. Two years after signing her record deal, Aaliyah worked with R. Kelly to release her debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Behind the scenes, they became involved, and at just 15, Aaliyah secretly married Kelly. Her parents annulled the marriage as soon as they discovered it. Despite the scandal, Aaliyah's reputation suffered more than Kelly's, with the media portraying her as a teenage seductress rather than as one of Kelly's early victims. In 2019, federal prosecutors charged Kelly with bribing for a fake ID for an unnamed girl the day before his secret wedding to Aaliyah. This was the first time Kelly's brief marriage to Aaliyah was connected to his criminal cases. Kelly's lawyers claimed he didn't know Aaliyah's real age at the time, though their marriage license falsely stated she was 18. Aaliyah's life tragically ended at 22 when her twin-engine Cessna crashed in the Bahamas after filming a music video for her final album. Investigations revealed the plane was overloaded by 700 pounds, and the pilot had cocaine and alcohol in his system. Kelly rarely spoke about Aaliyah after her death. Now, Kelly claims that Jay-Z wanted him out of the picture for unknown reasons. Conspiracy theories even suggest an Illuminati-like setup. Kelly is gearing up for a legal battle, aiming to overturn his conviction. He has hired Bill Cosby's lawyer and is arguing that biased jurors and withheld information about his partner's ages tainted his trial. Kelly believes Jay-Z's vendetta over a lost $70 million lawsuit might be behind his imprisonment. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Kelly's legal team is questioning juror integrity and claiming a lack of transparency during his trial. Additionally, there are rumors that Kelly wants to expose secrets about celebrities who he feels have abandoned him. Reports suggest Kelly and his team are working with federal authorities, hoping to reduce his sentence by providing information on other celebrities allegedly involved in similar crimes. Kelly has also accused Jay-Z of playing a role in his downfall, claiming that Jay-Z's sense of injustice led to Kelly bearing all the blame while Jay-Z walked free. There's also long-standing buzz about Jay-Z allegedly dating Foxy Brown when she was just 14. According to rumors, Jay-Z and Foxy Brown began seeing each other when she was 15 and he was 24, which is disturbing. Jay-Z addressed these rumors in his song, Picasso Baby, but his denial only added to the controversy. Regarding Aaliyah, Jay-Z has stayed quiet, but his former business partner Dame Dash revealed that Jay-Z had an interest in Aaliyah, although she wasn't interested in him and ended up with Dash. Dame Dash admitted in an interview that both he and Jay-Z were interested in Aaliyah, leading to tension between them. There's a disturbing rumor that Jay-Z may have been involved in Aaliyah's death to clear the path for Beyonce's success. This rumor gained traction around the time of Aaliyah's death and Beyonce's struggling solo career. Dame Dash believes Jay-Z's collaboration with R. Kelly, despite knowing about Kelly's actions, is unacceptable. Jay-Z's continued collaboration with R. Kelly, driven by financial gain, has led to accusations that he prioritized money over doing what's right. Despite mounting evidence against Kelly, Jay-Z continued to support him, even as public opinion turned against Kelly. With the recent accusations against Diddy, Jay-Z's silence is seen as a strategic move to protect himself from further scrutiny. The situation between Diddy and Jay-Z is intensifying, with rumors circulating that Diddy might have disclosed damaging information about Jay-Z to authorities. Jaguar Wright has been vocal about Jay-Z's alleged involvement in questionable practices similar to Diddy's, insinuating that he may have sacrificed other artists to advance his career. Diddy's empire is under scrutiny, with federal authorities raiding his properties and lawsuits mounting against him. There are speculations that Diddy, feeling the heat, might have implicated Jay-Z in his troubles, potentially exposing him to legal consequences. Reports suggest that Diddy is armed with sensitive information, including details about the Kathy White situation, which he could use to implicate Jay-Z and others. Despite their close relationship in the past, Diddy seems determined to bring Jay-Z down with him, viewing him as someone who abandoned him in times of trouble. This adds another layer of complexity to an already contentious situation, with potential repercussions for both hip-hop moguls. The allegations swirling around Jay-Z and Diddy are causing quite a stir, with rumors of secret pregnancies, cover-ups, and potential divorces. Diddy's supposed willingness to reveal damaging information about Jay-Z and others has escalated the situation, raising concerns for those involved, including Beyoncé. R. 
Kelly's comments about Diddy's legal troubles highlight the precarious position that celebrities find themselves in, where even unfounded allegations can have serious consequences. As for whether Jay-Z should be held to the same standard as R. Kelly, it's ultimately up to legal authorities to determine culpability based on evidence and due process. That is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.